The Liquimoly Street Race is one of the premium engine oils that I have repeatedly used in multiple motorcycles where it did show its performance edge which was also backed by a lot of you guys sharing your experience on the channel. So taking the next step and getting the Liquimoly Street Race 10W40 lap tested was in line for quite some time now. In this part, we will begin by testing the fresh engine oil which will give us an idea on what do we get from Liquimoly in terms of physical properties and additive elements which forms a critical part in making the oil perform. To begin with, we will start off with the kinematic viscosity. In simple terms, viscosity is the resistance offered by a fluid at a certain temperature to flow. Further simplifying it, it is how easily the oil flows at a defined temperature. In case of the fresh Liquimoly Street Rest 10W40, the kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius came at 92.11 mm2 per second, which is a bit on the viscous side when compared to something like the Motul 300V 10W40. On the hotter side, the kinematic viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius for the fresh Street Rest 10W40 came at 13.88 mm2 per second, which is good and in line with most premium performance engine oils. This usually aids the oil in offering lower resistance at an operating temperature and in turn providing better performance and efficiency. Moving ahead, the flashpoint came at 230 degrees Celsius, which is good. But what exceeded my expectation was the TBN, total base number, which represents the ability of the engine oil to neutralize the acidic environment that is created during combustion. In case of the street race 10W40, the TBN for fresh oil was reported at 9.5, which is just excellent and probably one of the highest numbers you will get to see on a street motorcycle oil. Now coming to the elemental analysis report, we don't have anything to report from the wear and tear analysis as this is for the fresh oil, but in terms of contaminants, sodium, potassium and silicon showed negligible presence, which is expected from a fresh oil. Now getting to the most interesting part of this video, where we will discuss the additive elements, and let me tell you, there are some surprising bits here. Starting with the detergent and dispersant additive base, that is the calcium and magnesium duo that keeps your engine clean. Calcium came at a whooping 2919 parts per million with magnesium at 33 parts per million which clearly shows calcium overpowers the cleaning duties here. And if you have watched our other lab test videos then you will know that the street race has exceeded this segment. Now coming to the anti-wear and anti-corrosion additives we usually have zinc and boron. In case of the street race boron showed negligible presence. But zinc came in as a savior with 1011 parts per million which is good as nowadays we seldom get to see zinc crossing the 1000 ppm mark. Now this is the part where we usually discuss the extreme pressure additive which is usually phosphorus based and Liquimoly has given us a decent dose of phosphorus in the street race at 886 parts per million. But they did not stop here and went ahead and formulated the street race 10W40 with sulfur which was reported at 2860 parts per million. Now sulfur is also considered as an excellent extreme pressure additive with an active presence that can also form a sacrificing sulfide layer on the metal parts and protect them. I remember some of us had the same doubt when we did the lab test on gear oils and I guess we found the same in the lab test for Petronas Synthium 3000. I will try to keep all the respective video links in this video description. Finally, we come to molybdenum. Although they don't market it like that, but the brand name Liquimoly makes most of us think about molybdenum, which is essentially a friction modifier. In case of the street race, we got 42 parts per million of molybdenum, which is okay, but not something that is outstanding like we found with the other additive elements. I guess that can be fulfilled with other Liquimoly additives. All of this brings us to the conclusion which becomes really easy for lab test videos like this that is backed by data which makes the Liquimoly Street Race rich in performance additives that is experienced by most of the users. Where we do get the premium for the price we pay. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a 5000 plus kilometers used oil lab test with this oil. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.